Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing some more prize fights because we're almost halfway through the month and I'm not even halfway through doing it. So yay, let's go ahead and get it done. Well, let's try at least. And uh, I have a decent streak going, so I guess I probably should be a bit more careful. Alright, who do I want to use here? Okay, so... Well, actually, let me focus on this really quick. I think I'm going to use... Um, maybe Psykid? I'm thinking... Actually, um, let's use Indomitable. I'm going to give her a shot. And I'm also going to use... Uh, who do I want to use? Uh, why do I struggle? Okay, Moonstruck. <laughs> And Dark Pores. See, I want to give someone experience, though. Let's get Evergreen Evil. Perfect team. Okay, so I just posted my Q&A video, like, less than an hour ago, maybe like 40 minutes ago. And I just realized something about it that I would... I don't want to say it was a lie. It was true, technically, kind of. Okay, so basically somebody asked me how... Oh, God. Oops. Oh my gosh, I guess that's what I get for not totally focusing. But somebody asked me how I got into Skullgirls or how I discovered Skullgirls, and it was through a YouTube channel, I think. But anyways, I said, I feel like, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Alright, let me... Let's finish her off before I even continue this thought, because why am I struggling? There we go. Okay, so basically I said that it was through voice acting or whatever, because like I was really not obsessed with voice actors, but I was just interested in voice actors. Well, the way I discovered that YouTube channel was not through voice acting. I'm talking about Christina V's channel. I discovered it because, or I discovered it through song covers, like English song covers, because I used to be really obsessed with English song covers. Have you guys noticed I do that? Whenever I'm talking about some things, I'll repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Like, how many times did I just say song covers? I don't know why I do that, and I didn't even notice that I did that until I was editing my video. Okay, who do I... Are they all shiny? Or is it just... I can't tell who is shiny in this group. Okay, it looks like it's just... Oh, no, okay, that's why. I'm like... That's so weird. <laughs> okay. It's just splitting image, because I saw all of those particles floating from Fukuoka, but that's normal, isn't it? So I don't know why I thought that meant they were shiny. That's kind of a cool effect, though. Like, to have them both like that. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm gonna use Psykid, and I'm going to also use... Let's throw in Final Fang. And I think I'm gonna keep Evergreen Evil. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I used to be really into English song covers of anime openings and different stuff like that. How I discovered her YouTube channel, I have no idea, but I know that's how I discovered it. Like, I mean, I know that it was through English covers of songs. I just don't know what song it was. I'm thinking it might have been the Super Driver um, opening two of Haruki Suzumiya. I'm thinking that's what it was, but who knows? Is she not Tainted Blood? Well, that's a throw move, right? So I guess Tainted Blood wouldn't even have an effect on it. Never mind. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify that because I was thinking about that earlier and I was like, wait a second. Oh. I'm still alive! Haha! <laughs> oh, instant death. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier and I was like, wait a second. I feel like I didn't even clarify this specific point. Not that it really matters, because I guess that has nothing to do with Skullgirls, but I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, do you have Tainted Blood? You do. Okay, I'm going to use Psych, not Psychid, Final Fang. I think I'm going to switch Psychid out. Let's go ahead and throw in... Mm. Rose Tinted? Sure, Rose Tinted and... Apex complex. Oh wait, nobody's gaining experience. Do I have anybody that's below level 60? Biting cold. I don't want to use death wish here. 
Oh, Palace Plunderer. There we go. Actually, no. No, 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 no. I'm not doing... Forget it. I don't care. Whatever. Dark Horse. Actually, I am going to throw in Palace Plunderer, but I'm going to throw her in last. Or as my third person. Okay, what else do I have to say? There was something I wanted to talk about that's kind of random. But yesterday... I, I, okay, I need to delete Reddit. But yesterday I was on the Reddit app. And I was on, I think I was on the Disney Channel subreddit. Did not ask me how I ended up there. See, the thing, I actually don't, oh, I don't know how I ended up there because I've noticed that a lot of the time when I, like, get recommendations from subreddits. Well, I don't even know what influences the recommendations. Okay, let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, she's stunned. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Oh, wait. Go, go! Get her! Oh, wait, she has final stand. Oh, wait, but this isn't gonna... Oh, well. Oh! Oh, no! I'm blocking! But it didn't work! Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm still gonna have to deal with uh, Pain Wheel again, but it is what it is. Oop. <laughs> I panicked. But yeah, I... Whatever, it doesn't matter how I got there. I don't remember. Anyways. Oh, oh my gosh, perfect opportunity. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, get up, get up! Yeah! Okay, anyways, so I was on the Disney Channel subreddit and somebody was complaining about the new Wizards of Waverly Place reboot show. I've actually seen, I watched the first episode on YouTube, um, but I caught the second episode on TV. Anyways, so they were complaining about it, but I've noticed, I have a pet peeve. I don't like when people, I'm trying to think who I want to fight here. I feel like this bottom one isn't that bad. Like splitting image can be annoying, but She's not the worst. Took you long enough to pick me. I guess this team is fine. Anyways, they were complaining about the reboot show, but in the post, they talked about how they only saw one episode. And I was like, are you serious? I don't even know if they finished the episode, but I was like, what? I mean, you can dislike shows all you want, but the title of the post, I almost don't even want to say the title, but I feel like you guys don't really care. So I'm just going to say it. Basically, the title was like, I hate this show, and it was, they were talking about Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. And I was just... In the same post, they talked about how they only saw the first episode. And I'm like, how do you hate a show after only watching one episode? What? But... Uh, it is what it is. And I've noticed that a lot of the complaints... So, okay, here's my where my pet peeve comes in. I have a pet peeve. It bothers me when people complain about something that they haven't actually watched. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. How can you dislike something or hate something that you haven't even seen? And I say this because there were other people complaining about the show, and you could tell that they hadn't watched past the first episode, because I know I saw somebody say, like, it's weird. They didn't like how... Okay, they didn't say this exactly, but they were talking about how the characters don't know about magic. Or they don't know that their dad has powers or whatever. Basically, okay, here's the plot of the first episode. <laughs> so you guys aren't confused. Or so you have at least some idea of what I'm talking about. So, actually, I don't want to use... I think I'm going to use uh, Indomitable again. Well, no, because... See, okay, how does Raiding Champ's ability work? I'll continue this thought in a second. She starts the match with unflinching, but... She doesn't have unflinching when she gets tagged into... Or she gets tagged into the match... I guess. At least that's how it seems, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna stick with Apex. And I'm also gonna throw in Let's throw in Rose Tinted. Took you long enough to pick me. Who else do I wanna use? Ghostbuster. Alright. So basically Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. It's a reboot of Wizards of Waverly Place. Well not really a reboot, it's like a sequel. Reboot, sequel, whatever you want to call it. I feel like a reboot would imply that all of the characters are coming back in like different forms or something, but that's not really the case. So it's more of a sequel. So it's about Justin and Alex. <laughs> I'm explaining this so weird. Basically, Alex goes to Justin's house, I guess, to tell him that or to get him to start teaching again and to teach a specific student and that student is Billy 
So basically now she's living with them, and that's kind of the plot of the first episode. I mean, there's more, there's like a whole, like, shenanigans, magic shenanigans, like, from the old show, but that's not really what I'm trying to get at. So, okay, that happens. So the second episode, the plot of the episode is that Billy accidentally reveals magic, or she reveals that the kid's dad, Justin, is a wizard, because Justin was keeping it a secret from his family. And at the end of the episode, they find out they're all in the know about magic now. So that's why I'm like, you can tell these people haven't watched the show because how are you going to... That's like the plot of the second episode. I saw people complaining about this and I was thinking that it was going to be throughout like the whole first season that they just didn't know each other's secrets. And I saw someone specifically say that this was like taken from Raven's home. And I actually thought the same thing when I saw that. I was like, oh, this is just like in Raven's home. Because for some reason in Raven's home, like, nobody knows each other's psychic. I think they eventually find out, but... In the beginning of the show, at least, Raven does not know that her son is psychic, and he... Her son does not know that she is psychic, and it's weird, but it is what it is. But yeah, that whole thing is just... It happens in the second episode, so I was like, what the heck? So yeah, I say all that to say, I hate when people complain about things. Well, I don't hate, but it bothers me when people complain about things that they haven't watched before. It's also why I'm partially reluctant to watch, well, very reluctant to watch like cartoon reviews on YouTube, specifically the ones where they're like bagging on a show and you can kind of tell that they're gonna just be like really harsh on this random show. Cause I feel like, I don't know, maybe <laughs> they've only seen one episode or something and I just, I don't want to be annoyed. So there you go. That was kind of random, but that was something that was bothering me last night. But I say all that to say the show is okay. <laughs> I don't think it's bad, but I've only seen two episodes. The first episode was like, I didn't love it. And I think the second episode was actually better, to be honest. But now that the dynamic has changed with the family, I'm curious how the rest of the show is going to go. Because I like the dynamic of the original show. I'm not saying that I want it to be like the original show, but I like that everybody knew about magic. Okay, I guess I'm throwing in Death Wish. Pfft, whatever. Uh. But yeah, I need to see the rest of the show. <laughs> I keep saying that. It's because I know they introduce more characters. Like, I think she's supposed to have a best friend or something. I need to see her, see what she's all about. But, like I said, I've only watched two episodes. Okay, I'm getting off this subject now. What else do I have to say? <laughs> no idea. <sighs> Seriously? Goodbye, class cutter! You will be- oh wait, HA! Your plan failed, Eliza. How does it feel? It's really good to know that Class Cutter's unblockable thingy... Not unblockable, but her guard break thing is not influenced by immunity? For some reason I thought it was. Well, I didn't- it's not that I thought it was, it's that I wasn't sure if it was or not. I kind of just assumed that it was. But I had no evidence to suggest that being the case. Okay, I'm gonna use Nonsense here. Hopefully she'll do okay, because this Corrosive Agent looks super tanky, but we are gonna see. And just in case she fails horribly, uh, let's throw in Starshine to deal with Death Wish. Okay, I'm trying to think who I could use against Corrosive Agent. I guess I could use Mean One. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're gonna use this squad. Let's see how Nonsense does. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Well, so far so good. She has inverse polarity and she has stacks of regen. And she's about to die. Oh, I timed that poorly. Oh my gosh, please die. Okay, let's just do this, because she can't do anything about it. Yay, we got her! Uh, let's just switch to mean one. Oh my gosh, did you see all that damage I took? Uh, that was funny. Uh, 
Oh, come on. You are not the one I wanted to fight. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Starshine. Nope. 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 Oh, come on! Starshine, no! Wait, I should be able to get Blessing. Come on! There it is. Oh, wait, but she's gonna steal it. Ugh, this sucks. Okay, this could be bad. I think I'm gonna switch to mean one. I'm gonna have to use nonsense again. Oh my gosh, imagine if I lose here. Are you serious? I didn't hit. Okay, well, it's up to you, nonsense. It's not looking good. This sucks because I'm gonna have to deal with you again! I'm not winning this, you guys. Look how much damage I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe I can switch to fire and then just get lucky. Okay, there we go. Ow. Oh, no, I'm screwed. <laughs> well, I tried. Uh, oh, well. It's because I, I probably should have just kept nonsense in, but it is what it is. Luckily, I still have my streak thing. That was embarrassing. Ugh, I'm mad. I hate when I lose to a multiplier like that. Okay, let's use Psykid, and ugh. I, get, I think I'm going to keep Starshine in, even though I just had a really embarrassing performance. Who else do I want to throw? The Surgeon General, I guess? Why not? Okay, I'm not losing to this team. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh my gosh, thank you. There we go. Oh, uh, just dumb. Okay. Land, please. Alright, let's hopefully get a wall bounce going. Nope, too late. That's okay. Well, maybe. Are you serious? It didn't connect. Whatever. No, she's gonna keep healing. Uh... <laughs> that could- okay, I'm like embarrassing myself right now. Also, this is taking forever because she is not dying. I almost want to switch to Starshine because I think Starshine will have a better shot of like actually killing her since she hits harder than Psychic does. Oh my gosh. No! Ow. Okay, well now I'm almost dead. Okay, well at least she's not healing, so I guess that kind of worked out. Okay, well. <laughs> Ugh, I don't have dead eye anymore. What I do have, though, is immunity which will be helpful against Megalomaniac. Oh my gosh, please, I need you to die. Okay, there we go. Now we just have to deal with these two. Oh, but I have to deal with immunity again. Ow. Oh my gosh, it's just embarrassing. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna lose immunity in a second. Okay, forget this, I'm using Starshine. <laughs> I can't right now, this is annoying. Oh god, but my damage isn't even that good right now. I need precision, come on precision! I only have 30 seconds, I'm getting scared! Let's just activate this now. Oh, come on! Please die. Okay, thank god. The only thing that sucks is that I don't have immunity. I only have 10 seconds left. I don't know if I can do this. 
And she has all that armor. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I was wrong about not losing this one. Ah, oh, that sucks. No, I have to do this all over again. I'm not using the Unite, you guys. I don't care. Oh, uh, goodbye, Streak. That is two losses in a row. That's embarrassing. I don't know. He <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Whatever. No, I'm not doing it. Ugh. And you guys judged me last time for fighting these bronze characters. Listen, you get more... You get more from these multipliers than you do from doing this. And also, how is this any better? It's just gold characters instead of bronze. But they're not... Clearly, they're not, like, that strong. Alright, well, back to autoing. What's my score at? I wasn't even paying attention. There we go. Okay, well, my sh I'm still, like... <laughs> I can't believe I failed. Uh, I mean, I can believe it, because it's not like I'm perfect. I fail all the time, but still, that sucked. I think what really sucks is that I have to do this all over again. That is the worst part about it. I guess I could have used the Unite, but that seems kind of silly. Get him! Yay! At least we can fast forward through fights now. Okay, now I'll deal with these guys. I'll just, I'll fight the stronger ones now. Uh, I'm just throwing in whoever at this point. Sorry, I'm not saying anything. I don't know what else to say. No, I don't want to favorite that. Actually, wait, let me check the cabinet. I'm only at 33 million. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I lost my streak. But I don't want this to turn into me. Wow, I have 30,000 Thea Knight. Wait, when does the spotlight relic? I'm just like doing anything at this point. When does the spotlight relic? Spotlight relic end. That's not it. Uh, it ends in four hours? What? Wait, I wonder who's going to be in it. I wasn't going to do this one because I already have Demon Artist, so... And I don't really care about Snakebite. Well, I say that now. If I ever got Snakebite, I might change my tune. Okay, back to the prize fight. Back to autoing everything. Oh, I guess I can talk to what I've been... Talk about what I've been up to. I still am playing 80s. Oh my gosh, the thing about that game is that you have to, if you're trying to forge bonds with characters, you have to do, it takes a while because you have to go through a run every single time. I think the only way you would fast forward through that, the, not fast forward, the only way you would like speed up the process is if you died on purpose, and I'm not about to do that, so. Especially because there's one thing I'm trying to do, and it requires a lot of resources. I don't... Actually, this team is really weak. Never mind. Oh, but I am ready to move on from that game, but I just want to see how it ends. Ugh. Especially, not how it ends, because I got. I think I've got the ending already. Unless there's more to it. It seems like there's more story stuff to do, but I don't... I'm wondering if it's, like, set up for the sequel or not. Or if it's like something that's gonna get resolved in this game, I'm not sure. That's why I'm trying to get through it, but it's taking forever, oh my goodness. By the way, if you guys have like tried Hades 2, I don't want any spoilers, like I don't wanna know anything about it. So yeah, I just wanna go into it blind whenever it comes out. I think it comes out next year, maybe? I'm not sure if there's a planned release date. Actually, you guys can tell me that. If you know when it's coming out, let me know. Cause I'm curious about, uh, cause I do wanna play it. Okay, let's throw in Fighting Cold, Blue Screen, and Troublemaker. This is a bit of an odd group, but I don't know, why not, you know? Did Immoral Vibers even activate? I was not paying attention. Oh my gosh, it has, it's only been 25 minutes? What the heck is happening? 
I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, oh, you know what else happened? Okay, so recently I bought the Metabots Blu-rays because they were on sale on Crunchyroll's website. And I haven't seen... I think they're Blu-rays. They might be DVDs. But they're apparently discotheque. I guess they released them, so... I'm not sure why I'm saying it like that. They did release them, so I'm buying them on Crunchyroll. I bought them, like, last week, I want to say. So hopefully they come in soon. Although I don't know if I'm going to watch them right away, but there's three seasons, apparently, which I did not know. But I'm excited. Because I haven't seen the Metabot show in a long time. I used to watch it, but I don't really remember it all that well. Like, it's been a long time since I watched it. But I used to rent the DVDs and stuff when I was a kid. And that was years ago. Like, that was back when DVD rentals were still a thing. I think they're still a thing now, but I'm not sure where. Oh my goodness. Come on, you got this meow in forever. Yeah, get her! Oh, stupid Killjoy. She's gonna bring back her team again. There we go. Alright, streak of 10. Uh, I'm not sure when it's gonna be okay for me to stop autoing. I think I can keep going though. Let's throw in Final Fang. You are not Final Fang. Final Fang! Uh... Inner Pieces. <laughs> okay, no, this team is ridiculous. We're Surgeon General. Let's throw her in. There we go. So, yeah. Aside from that... I'm trying to think about... There, okay, this is kind of random, but there are some things I haven't talked about on here that I don't want to talk about. I'm talking show-wise because I don't want you guys to spoil. I'm not saying I don't trust you, but I'm always scared that some random person is going to hear me talk about something that I like, and then it's just going to be like, you know what? Here's how this happens. Even, like, even on accident. You know what? Actually, that just brings me to like this random rant that I have. I hate when people... I feel like hate is such a strong word. I should stop saying hate. I dislike it heavily when people on the internet, like when somebody clearly doesn't want to be spoiled, they make it clear they don't want to be spoiled. And then somebody like spoils something, Not, but not, I don't mean like directly spoils because that's awful, but no, I mean like they're not saying what it is, but they're clearly implying something or they're clearly trying to point to something and it's like what are you doing so let me give an example i'm trying to think of who to throw in here that still has stamina i'm just gonna throw in vaporwave and let's okay hold on let me do this really quick vaporwave evergreen evil rose tinted the squad oh they all needed stamina oops whatever okay so a specific example so like let's say a character dies in a show right and Somebody will say something along the lines of like... Okay, somebody is like, oh my gosh, I love this character. Let's say on Twitter or something. Oh, I love this character. And then somebody in the response is like... Who's gonna tell them or something like that. They say something along those lines. And it's like, what? You're That's a spoiler. Well, maybe that's not a spoiler because that can mean a couple of things. Let me give another example. Okay, so maybe somebody will say like... They'll say, oh, I'm try I can't think of anything specific. I've seen this before, though. I'm sure you guys have too, where somebody will imply that that character is not going to make it. And it's like, why would you do this? Like, that's a spoiler. But it feels like they're not trying to spoil, but they are. And it's like, are you serious? So that stuff bothers me so bad. Oh, wait, I just chose this up against standout. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I might have just failed. I might have just doomed myself. That's okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Oh no. Vaporwave Vixen, please! Survive! I didn't realize who I was up against! 
Oh my gosh, Rose Tinted's barrier is saving her right now. Okay, do this. What is happening? I feel like my inputs are like really bad right now, or like really laggy or something. Or maybe she's just slow. I have no idea. Yeah, I hate when people do that. Oh, I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it on Twitch. I've kind of seen it on Reddit. So, actually, I really have seen it on Reddit. People are weird about spoilers on Reddit. Like, people... See, there I go again saying the word people like a thousand times. But for some reason on Reddit, it just seems like if you go... Okay, see, I'm of two minds in this. Or I'm like... I'll play devil's advocate, I guess, in a second. Or I'm on both sides. Okay, so when people on Reddit... On a specific subreddit for a show, they act like everybody that ever posts knows everything there is to know about the show. So they don't—they just kind of casually give out spoilers. I kind of get it though, because it's like, why would you, if you don't want to be spoiled on something, not necessarily saying that everybody that posts on these reddits cares about spoilers, but if you, I don't understand if you haven't like finished a show. No, see, okay, no, I'll get back. No, 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 because now I have to backtrack again. Okay, I feel like if you don't want to be spoiled about, spoiled on something, I would never go on the subreddit of a show. Like, okay, Attack on Titan. I There was stuff I wanted to look up about Attack on Titan so bad before I finished the show. But I didn't do it because I knew that I would get spoiled. Like, it doesn't make any sense. But that with that being said, it's like, okay, so does that mean people that post on the subreddit can only post if they've seen the entire show? That's insane. But not everybody is like that. There's some subreddits that have clear rules in place. Where they say, like, no spoilers, don't spoil. I think Attack on Titan is one of those subreddits, but I might be wrong. Okay, let's throw in Grin Reaper. I think I can't auto anymore. Like, at this point, <laughs> the squad. This is fine. But yeah, that just, it frustrates me. And I guess I do care about spoilers. I want to be that person that's like, I don't care about spoilers, but no, I totally do. <laughs> I think the only time I don't care about spoilers is if it's something that I'm never really... I'm not invested in to begin with, so... I'm trying to think of something. I guess One Piece, that's... Some, like, I know I said I was reading One Piece. I am. I guess... Well, in that case, never mind then, because I can't be spoiled on anything. I, the only way I could be spoiled is if I le looked at, like, leaks and stuff, but I don't really care enough to do that. But, okay, back then, before I was reading One Piece, I would say One Piece, because even though I have seen a lot of the show, well, pff, at this point, I can't really say that. I've seen some of the show, and I do like the characters and stuff. I was never that invested in the story. Even if somebody said a spoiler, I wouldn't understand it. But yeah, for shows that I don't watch and stuff, I don't care about spoilers. I'm trying to think of a show that I do watch that I would care about spoilers. Or that I wouldn't care about spoilers. I almost want to say Black Clover. Because I like Black Clover, but... It, I mean... But that's another one that I'm reading the manga of. <laughs> Never mind, I can't think of a good example. That was such a long tangent. I hope you guys do not mind. I need you to die. Thank you. <laughs> oh, pff, she just insta-died. Will this kill her too? Do you guys know who Cosmic Rebel is based on? Like, what the variant is supposed to be? I don't know. Okay, for this one, I think I'm going to use Apex. Let's throw in Mean One just because she has stamina and I guess Cosmic Rebel can stay. Alright. 
Uh, Untouchable, you are so annoying! I feel like Untouchable's not even that bad. It's just her random damage ignoring thing is just annoying. Seriously? There we go. <laughs> she had a sliver of health left. What have you guys been up to? I feel like I always talk about myself. Well, I guess, I mean, I can really only talk about myself. What have you guys been up to as far as your lives, I guess, or outside of Skullgirls? Because I feel like there's only so much you can talk about in this game. Wait, no, what am I doing? Where's Final Thing? Yeah, this is fine. But I feel like you guys don't... Well, I don't want to say you don't, but I don't hear a lot about you guys, so let me know how you are all doing. And let me know if you are excited for the upcoming holidays. I kind of am, and I'm kind of not, because I feel like I'm not prepared for Christmas. But Thanksgiving will be nice. I think. Probably. It'll probably just be relaxing. Okay, I was hoping to have way more with my score than I have now, but it's looking kind of rough. I think I want someone with Deadeye. Let's bring back Psykid. Time to redeem yourself, Psykid, except not really, because I'd have to fight against Splitting Image again. Oh, she resisted the inverse polarity. That doesn't matter, because she's dead. There we go. Alright. This should be over. Oh, she didn't even have final stand. Okay, interesting. Alright, can I at least double my score? I feel like that'll be like somewhat of a success. I'm gonna have to do this on my own. <laughs> I was hoping I could just like record my success on here, but that's not gonna happen if I lose my streak the way I just did. Alright, who do I want to use? Uh... Let's use Class Cutter, and let's use Gust Buster, even though none of these people really make any sense to- Okay, let's not. Biting Cold. And... You know what I should do? I should unequip Eager Deceiver's moves, because I don't really use her anyway, so they're just kind of there. I could give them to other characters. Let's throw an Idle Threat. That's probably a horrible idea, though. What if she fails? Okay, let's bring in Moonstruck. There we go. Uh, bring it on, Firebranded. You don't scare me. Actually, nobody on this team scares me except for Dark Might, kinda. And even then, it's just his signature ability that's scary. There we go. Easy peasy. How much time do I have left? I'm just making sure that I'm not going over time. It's, it hasn't even been 40 minutes. Alright, Corrosive Agent. I want revenge. This isn't quite the same as getting revenge on immunity. Or immunity on splitting image. <laughs> Whatever, she might as well be called immunity. But that is okay. Okay, we're going to use Nonsense and we're going to use Apex. And we're going to use... No, we're going to use Surge in general and... Who else could I use against Corrosive? I guess Mean One, even though last time I failed horribly. I feel like I'm just setting myself up to fail again. Also, I just realized I'm going to have to kill Killjoy. I, I'm going to have to deal with Killjoy again! I almost want to use Starshine because of my, like I did so bad with Starshine earlier that I'm embarrassed. But I'm not going to. Alright, bring it on. I want revenge. Okay, she's almost dead. That wasn't even satisfying! Although I'm gonna have to kill her again, though. Yeah. 
I need to time my blockings better. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Uh, I almost... This is probably not smart, but I'm gonna see if I can get Hex on her so I don't have to deal with her nonsense. Her nonsense. Haha. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna burst. Can I get some? Yes! Okay, please. I need Hex. Yes! Okay, let's just activate this. Go, go, go! Go! Double heads attack! Come on! Come on! Oh my gosh, they're doing like no damage. Please! Yay! Okay. Oh. Okay, that was weird. But it doesn't matter, I won! Yay! Ooh, okay, you know what? Let's fight Curl Scout. This is the perfect opportunity to use Starshine. Although I guess Nonsense would also be good against Curl Scout and Plot Twisted. Okay, we'll throw in Nonsense just to put her... Just to say that I used her. Except maybe not because she's going in the second slot and I'm still going to use Starshine. Oh wait, you know what though? It doesn't really matter if I activate Curl Scout's ability or not because it's going to activate on its own. Uh, during a combo. Okay, I can do this all day. What are you doing? Is she gonna do something else? This is stupid. I'm gonna keep doing this until she stops. Guys, is this normal? Oh, there we go. That was so tough. Also, I still have permanent precision, so that worked out really well. I'm gonna do this. this. I know this seems kind of weird, but I just want to get this going so I don't accidentally kill her while she's blocking or something. There we go. Okay, now we just have to deal with Pearl Scout again. Let's just... Oh! Oops. Ugh, stupid final stand. Alright, I guess we're doing this song and dance again. That was... Okay. What just happened? Alright, and you're dead. Haha. <laughs> okay. Uh, I still have time. Let's just keep going. Oh! Okay, yes. Let's do this one. Plot Twisted. Okay, maybe I'll actually... Maybe I actually will use Nonsense against Plot Twisted. Who do I want to use against Eliza? I'm thinking Apex. Yeah, that's fine. Apex, Nonsense, and... I'm gonna throw in Dark Horse as well. This team doesn't seem that bad, but they have a multiplier for a reason. I'm getting sick of underestimating people and failing. There we go. Okay. Ugh, that's not what I wanted, but that's okay. Maybe I can get Hex on. That hurt. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to inflict Hex. Oh, now she gets tags. Are you serious? Okay, but at least I have like a thousand buffs. All right, she's dead. Uh, let's just keep nonsense out. Although, oh my gosh, her damage. Okay, no. There we go. Okay, now I just have to deal with Valentine. And she doesn't even have her blockbusters charged up. There we go. I got you cursed. I got this. And she's dead. Okay, that was easy. I feel like I really have to focus now. Yes, I got a million points for that. That was nice. I want revenge. And I'm getting a Psy Kid. I don't even care. We're getting a Psy Kid. Cosmic Rebel. And... Uh, who else should I use? Windswept! <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's do this. Revenge time, maybe. 
Unless I fail again. But she doesn't even have her marquee ability unlocked. Okay, never mind. This isn't even gonna be hard. Oh, okay, well it might be if she gets final stand like that. Okay. There we go. Why is everybody's using curl not curl scout? Why are so many people using perfect dark on defense? Am I missing something? Well, I guess it kind of hurts me because now I'm not going to be able to get any more buffs, but I can just hold on to the ones that I have, so, eh, whatever. Let's just do this. I hope this kills her. Yeah! Okay. That wasn't so bad. And I got a gift. And, uh... I don't like... Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna use Indomitable here. Let's use Indomitable because she's good against thorns. Because she gives herself dead eye and she's fire. Elemental. <laughs> uh, let's throw in Dark Horse. I guess Evergreen Evil. Sure, whatever. I'm getting to the point where I don't really care that much about who I use at this point. Like, aside from my first character. Yeah, she already got boards. So that hurts. Now I have Dead Eye. No! Okay, well that was on me. <laughs> but she's dead, so it's okay. Okay, now you. Oh. Okay. Now we just have to deal with Standout, and I don't think she'll be that bad. Although I guess she'll eat some of my buffs, which I don't like. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. And she's dead. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll take on these three. I'm probably going to stop at like the 50 minute mark. So, just a heads up there. Who do I want to use? I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know what? Let's use Class Cutter. Let's use Class Cutter, Scare Giver, and... Uh... Gustbuster? Sure, whatever. I feel like if I'm not careful, this team could destroy me, but... I think I'll be okay. Also, I don't have any more random topics to talk about. That's all I had. Those random rants. I am just gonna focus on doing this. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I took like a thousand damage there, but oh well. Did I have power surge or something? But it seemed like that damage came out of nowhere. Whatever. Uh, okay, I don't... This last one doesn't seem that bad, but like... Actually, nah, it's not that bad. Let's use Indomitable again. Indomitable, uh, I don't think I'm gonna use Scaregiver, just in case. Let's use Mean One. Well, I guess I can throw in Scaregiver. Actually, no. No, no, no. Well, yes? No, that's fine. Let's just use that team. I haven't even used Death Wish at all. I feel bad. So I feel like Death Wish is probably stronger than Nonsense. At least with damage, but oh well. I'm just reluctant to use her because I feel like... I forgot where I left her last, but I know I wanted to switch things up with her moveset. Okay, can I steal Final Stand, please? There we go. Okay. Okay, come on, come on. Steal final stand. Steal final stand. Please. Please, come on. Final stand. Steal it! Steal it! Yes, thank you. Die. Oh, I could have done that. She's almost dead. No! Uh, whatever. 
it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> uh, okay. Another gift. I need to exchange gifts at some point. Okay, didn't I start off with like 23 million? Can I double my points? Oh, it's already at the 50 minute mark. Okay, this is the last fight. None says it's your time to shine. Okay, nonsense, and I'm also gonna throw in... Let's throw in Valentine, like, just in case something horrible happens, let's have some kind of safety net. I almost want to throw in Starshine, but she's gonna not be great against Corrosive Agent. Let's throw in Mean One. Okay, nonsense, I'm counting on you. Come on, pull through for me. I act as if I'm not the one in control here. Oh, okay, I like that I started off with a lot of buffs, that's nice. And I'm still leveling up Nonsense's moves. I think, okay, I think most of Nonsense's moves are level 1, except for, like, two of them. One of them's level 12, I think, and another one is level, like, 5 or something. Okay, good. One down, one down. Two to go. Ow. Ha! Oh my gosh, I normally can't do that, because I usually use, like, Psy Kid or something against her. Okay, let's just do this. I know she's getting a ton of buffs, but... It is what it is. Come on, can I get Hex or Curse? There we go, I got Curse. And Inverse Polarity. Oh wait, I just removed all this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to time this stuff better. Okay, at least she has Hex now. Okay, she's... Oh, she's dead! Sweet! Okay, just have to deal with Curl Scout. Come on, look at all those buffs. Or debuffs, I should say. <laughs> I'm just attacking the air. I was honestly I wasn't even looking at the screen because I was I was so confident that I had that in the bag. Okay, at least I'm at 47 million points, so. I failed. Oh, let's do this one too. You know what? Whatever, let's just keep going. I have time. <sighs> I'm actually kind of scared though, because I don't want to deal with Death Wish. Okay, so I need to look at something with Evergreen Evil. Oh, okay, so yeah, if you're using a fire character against her, her ability won't activate. But the thing is, she can switch elements, so that's why I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know how helpful that is. Okay, let's use Starshine. I'm like freaking out. I could, it doesn't matter if I kill Deathwish and she brings back her team, it's not the end of the world. I guess I'll keep Surgeon General in. Who do I want to use against Evergreen Evil, though? Mean One would be good. Yeah, I guess this team is fine. Starshine should be able to do fine, too. I just have to hold on to... Well, I just have to get permanent precision. I could have used Windswept, too, I guess, but eh, whatever. I'm not sure why I did that. That was totally pointless, but it is what it is. I say that so often. At least he doesn't have a level 3 blockbuster. Or an unblockable, I should say. Oh, were you serious? Oh my gosh, that was stupid. Well, so much for that. At least I'm still alive. Oh god. Okay, thank you, Immunity. That saved me, because I would have gotten stunned, I think. Okay, that was redonkulous, but oh well. Oh my gosh, leave me alone, thank you. Oh, pff, she's already almost dead. Okay, let's just do this. Ha! Okay, now I just have to get permanent precision back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't realize that made her move faster, too. That's kind of interesting. I knew that it made her attack faster. And if you're wondering how I didn't know that despite using Umbrella all the time... Oh, what the... Did I not use my blockbuster? Oh my gosh, I looked away. I thought I hit the button, but I guess I didn't? What the heck? Okay, she's dead. Whatever. That was stupid. Oh my gosh, that was scary. I seriously thought I hit the button, and then I looked away, because I'm like, okay, let me look... to see how what time I'm at, but what the heck? Oh my gosh, just recklessness. Can I get to 50 million? Oh my gosh, this team looks horrible. Okay, let's deal with them. I'm using Starshine. 
Okay, let's use Nonsense again because she did really well last time. Nonsense versus Corrosive Agent. I might switch to Starshine and I'm going to keep Insurgent General just in case I need to bring people back. Actually, do I want to use Starshine? I'm trying to think, who do I want to use against Unholy Host? Because I assume she has no time to die. I guess I could use Mean One? Ugh. Uh, sure, let's just throw a Mean One. I feel like that's risky, though. Oh my- this is- wait, no, but then who am I get- oh gosh, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I think I'm gonna throw in Starshine, too. Okay, the only alternative I could think to bring in is Psykid, because I want to inflict- <sighs> I wish I had Green Reaper leveled up, you guys! If I did, I would just use her against Black Dahlia. Or Unholy Host, I mean. Okay, I like that you have all those C-buffs, and I like that you're inflicted with Hex. Okay, that didn't even connect like I thought it would. Okay. She still has Hex. Well, now she doesn't. Oh, but she has inverse polarity. Oh my gosh, die, die. Oh, now she has Hex. Oh my gosh, do not kill me. Ugh, I'm switching to mean one. This might be really risky. Eh. Okay, good. Yes! Oh, wait, but it's just gonna. Ah. Oh, come on. Seriously? Maybe this is a good thing, though. Okay, leave me alone. Her blockbusters cannot reach me from this distance. Well, that other one can get close. Ugh. Okay, now I'm gonna have to block. Okay. Okay, I have a. I have a permanent precision. Go! Okay, I just have to- oh, come on! Seriously? I did not even mean to do that. I feel like that should have hit her, but oh well. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has her level 3. Ah, oh, I knew that was gonna happen! Well, so much for that. I don't know if I'm gonna win this, you guys, because I'm gonna have to deal with uh, Deathwish again. And I did not mean to keep you in. I need to level up Deathwish, because I feel like that would have solved a lot of problems if I had just had her along. Oh my gosh, please die. Okay, thank you. Okay, whatever. I know this is just going to bring back her team, but I don't have much choice. Oh, come on, seriously? Please kill her. There we go. Ow. Oh my gosh. No! I didn't think that was gonna happen! Oh, I might be in trouble. I don't think Curse can kill me, though. Or, not Curse. I don't think uh, her thingy can kill me. Uh, oh, I don't think I'm winning this, you guys. I'm gonna have to go. Oh, I'm gonna have to rebuild my streak again. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. Wait, but I still have to deal with Unholy Ho. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need my level 3 blockbuster! I only have 10 seconds! Go, come on, please! Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I won that. Okay, I'm ending the video because I have to go, but wow, that was insane. I know you guys are like, what? Someone wanted me to lose, I just know it. Alright, that's gonna be it for this. Thank you guys. That was an accident. That's gonna be it for this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back again soon. Goodbye!